It all started with a text message. The message said, Welcome, you are now en route. I was instructed to show up at a certain downtown location at a specific time. I'm not sure who I'll be meeting, but the mysterious message assured me that he or she would be clearly marked. <laughs> okay. Are you en route? Yes, I'm en route. All right. Take this flag and okay. walk this way. That's all I do? Bye. <laughs> The trek I'm embarking on is the creation of a theater group from Melbourne, Australia. They're called One Step at a Time Like This. Are you on route? Yes. <laughs> okay. I learned that I'll be taking this journey by myself. I'm given a phone number to call if I get lost or confused, and I'm fitted with an MP3 player. So I'm going to put it onto your left wrist here. My first instruction is to head south on Michigan Avenue and listen to audio track one. And just one more thing, you will be needing these on your journey. Take one. Take your time. Take two. You will need your eyes. With the ethereal audio track playing in my headphones and with my route and destination unknown, the familiar city immediately starts to look different to me, which is exactly what the artists are after. One of the things we're, we're hoping to do is, like, when you're downtown, you're usually working, shopping, maybe eating. You know, and you always know where you're going and what you're doing. And we're trying to sort of strip the function out of your time downtown, and so that you've got nowhere to go. You don't know where you're going. and. <laughs> And you just go, well, where am I? What is this place? How do I feel about this place? If I told you I loved this city. Now, I know my way around the loop about as well as anyone, but through a series of texted instructions, I soon find myself being taken off the beaten track into alleys I've never traveled before. Just got another text message. Stand at the entrance of the alley opposite, okay, that's over there, and play track four. Okay, there's no traffic, I'm crossing. I'm supposed to stand at the entrance of the alley and play track four. Let's see, track four. Walk slowly up the alley. have many different ways of communicating with the audience as to what they should do or where they should go next. And we do this deliberately so that they don't get set in a routine. Because if you, once you get set in a routine, then you stop using your senses. They, they, they go to sleep. Find a wall to lean against. Find a wall to lean against. Sometimes I think of en route as like a reminder of the fact that we can connect with our environment and our, our interior world together. Take a photo. Now. Take a photo. The troupe has created similar tracks in cities throughout Australia and also in Edinburgh, Scotland. The city is a co-creator of the show. And Chicago, it's one of Chicago's brilliance is that there, because of all the skyscrapers, yeah. it's very immersive. It swallows you up. And Chicago is brilliant for that. The creators have asked us not to give away the different ways in which participants get their instructions. So I won't tell you how I ended up down here in the Pedway. Look for the compass on the ground. Not on the wall, on the ground. Don't worry about all the compasses on the wall. I'm instructed to stand on the compass and open an envelope that I was given earlier. Following the map in the envelope, I eventually reach a door, which I unlock with that key I was handed at the start of my journey. 
Well, I've been directed to come to this hotel room, although we've been asked not to tell you which hotel it is. And I'm um, supposed to wait for something to happen. Soon enough, I receive another instruction. It leads me down a stairwell. My descent is accompanied by passages from Dante, the famous poet's stages of purgatory illustrated on the walls in works by a Chicago artist. The music is from Chicago artists, too. You must have situations where an audience member sort of gets lost or misdirected yes. and you oh. kind of you kind of go, whoa. Yeah, we do. What's that like? <laughs> <laughs> Earlier in the journey, I was given an envelope. Now I'm instructed to open it for directions to my next stop. The flipbook guide leads me to another alley where I'm given a chance to make my mark. I'm interested in this notion that, that when we go through the city, we often think that we're just readers of the city. We're somehow removed from it and we're just looking, looking, looking as though we're not in it. So we try to create these moments where you realize that you're also at the same time a writer of the city. The journey ends in a cafe the decaf, please. Sit. Sip. Watch. I am learning to see. Yes, I am beginning. This is the most reflective part of the experience. Watching people pass by, framed by the windows like actors on a movie screen, with the audio text as narration for the living city. In a way, that's what En Route is about. To, to see in, in a more enlivened way or a more connected way than, than we often do. Oh, somebody said to me the other day, with like I was on a scavenger hunt, except what was I looking for? Yes. <laughs> I wasn't looking, I was just seeing. This is the end of this route. Take your headphones off. Somebody will be with you shortly. For Chicago Tonight, I'm Jeffrey Baer, en route.